Freddie Gray's mother and stepfather showed little emotion as family attorney Billy Murphy echoed their frustration at not only today's not guilty verdict, but Maryland's rule prohibiting cameras in courtrooms. Murphy thinks it affects the public's understanding of the case. And the anger in this community is in part based on the public's inability to know. I mean, we only a 150 people tops can fit in a courtroom in this town. Murphy ducked questions about Judge Barry Williams's reasoning and what evidence proves Goodson should not have been let free. The judge's 38-page not guilty decision hammered on what he called the prosecution's lack of evidence Goodson knew Gray was severely injured and needed immediate medical attention. The judge cited differing opinions from medical experts on when Gray was injured and his visible symptoms. Quote, if the doctors are not clear as to what would be happening at this point in time, how would the average person or officer without medical training know? The judge says city surveillance video that day does not prove Gray was given a rough ride, and the judge says not seatbelting Gray may have been a mistake, but not enough for crime. There's this tragic event, and the state decides that someone has to be responsible criminally. I commend the prosecution uh, for bringing this case to public attention with the hope that there will be reforms uh, done. Goodson is the second officer in the case to be acquitted on all charges. The police union is calling for state's attorney Marilyn Mosby to reconsider charges against the remaining four. To continue this travesty is an insult to the taxpaying citizens of Baltimore who, at the end of the day, bear the full burden of the enormous cost of these trials. And tonight, city police confirmed that Officer Goodson is still suspended. He will undergo an administrative review in the department, but he is now getting paid. We're live downtown, George Lattice, WBAL, TV 11 News. Uh,